Hi everybody, happy Tech Tip Tuesday from Northside Lexus. Melissa O'Connell here, your Lexus technology specialist. And today I'm going to show you some of the kind of key points on the multi-information display. You might be saying, what the heck is that? It's the display on your dashboard that has lots of information about multiple things. So let's check it out. The multi-information display on the NX and a lot of our other vehicles is located between the two round gauge clusters. It's the rectangular display right in the middle. Now some vehicles have one large center bezel cluster and that will slide to reveal your multi-information display. What I'd like to show you are the main menu items. So this is the main information screen. You see your outside temperature at the top left and then the digital clock at the top right. And of course your odometer and trip meter at the very bottom. We've reviewed that before. So let's take a look at how to change our display. On the NX, we're going to the right side of the steering wheel. Some of the other vehicles, it's going to be on the left-hand side, but you're always looking for a panel of four arrows and either a button with a dot or the word okay in the center. And that's going to let you move side to side through your main menu options and then up and down for additional screens of information if that's available. So let's take a look. We are on the information display and you'll see a slide bar on the right hand side with an up and down arrow that does let us know that we can use the up and down arrows to get additional screens of information. So if we move down we have more fuel economy information. We have a clock that's available. And then we have on this vehicle an energy monitor because this is a hybrid. So that can help you learn to improve your fuel economy. And then this vehicle also has a digital speedometer. So that's a nice bonus that's starting to appear on some of the Lexus vehicles now. Tire pressure monitor. So I'm, I'm sitting in a vehicle that has not been driven yet today. And so that calculation hasn't populated. But as you drive after just a few minutes, the PSI for each one of the tires will appear. A sway warning, that's part of your lane keep assist or lane trace assist depending on which system you have on your Lexus that will let you know if you've had too many corrections in a row and the vehicle is worried about whether or not perhaps you're either distracted or fatigued so it'll give you an alert and then a blank screen if that's your preference and I'm just continuing to click down and now I'm back at the beginning of the information display again with fuel economy. Now on this vehicle, this first screen, which is drive information one, drive information two, and drive information three, they are all customizable. Some vehicles have two information screens and some have three, but they're always customizable. Now I'm going to move to the right and that's going to take us to our music screen. And if we had the audio turned on, you would see whatever was playing. If I click my right arrow again, I'll be on my lane keeping monitor, my lane departure alert screen, lane keep assist, lane trace assist. When you have this engaged, if you see the lines light solid, then you know that the lanes are being detected by this system. Right now we're sitting still, there aren't any lane markers for it to detect, but it is turned on. If I turned it off, that screen would look like this because I have the lane keep assist turned off as well as the cruise control. If cruise control is turned on, you'll see that information there too. So now it's telling me lane departure alerts turned on. That's just me activating by pushing this button. And these are my arrows that I'm using to move through the menu. If I go to the right again, I will have messages. This is things like if you're low on fuel, then it's going to give you a pop-up right on that screen, alerting you that you're, you have low fuel. 
And now we're in settings, which is really the final bank of information. And this is where you can customize a lot of different features on the vehicle, just depending on the equipment on that car. And of course, your meter settings. And this is where you would choose things like, are you calculating by miles as opposed to kilometers? What language do you want the vehicle in? And if you start diving into some of those, then you can really customize the setup of your vehicle. And then if I arrow to the right one more time, I just loop back to my main information display. So again, all I'm doing is arrowing to the right. You could also arrow to the left. Either way, it just toggles you through. So it's nice and simple. Some vehicles even have a shortcut button. So if you have moved through your display and you want to go back to your main screen, you'll hit this shortcut button. So I'm going to show you the screen while I click the button and you'll see it jump right back to the first part of that main information display. I hope that helped give you a better understanding of the multi-information display on your Lexus. Keep in mind, there's a lot to explore in there, so take your time. And if you have any questions, as always, give us a call, 281-569-3300. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Tech Tip Tuesday. We'll see you next week. Bye.